Guten Morgen, good morning, and welcome to edition five of Tricks of the Trade to make sure that you know I am serious about sharing with you and hoping that you can take something with you while remembering what I've already said. We are still learning how to greet properly. And I have driven everybody crazy with using the tools you have at home to incorporate your bodily training as a singer into your everyday life. So this is the marshmallow stick that we can use als Waffe, as weapon. From today we will be speaking English and German to make sure Wir gewöhnen uns daran, in beiden Sprachen zu arbeiten. We get used to working in both languages without having a hissy fit. Allora, and we have had the rather bad news in Germany that we might be off stages for a longer time. Just before we talk about singing and auditioning, I have this one ready. Is one of my favorite masks. I fortunately bought two of these when I was working in Taiwan. They can take the extreme hot wash you need after every time you've been out. And they sure look way cuter than the other disposable ones, which are more comfortable to wear. Also, die Maske ist ganz praktisch, von wegen wie es aussieht, aber für den Alltag ziehe ich doch for the Einwegmasken an Master bei zu haben. Getting ready for your edition. Audition. Die Vorbereitung für dein Vorsingen. Probably started in your crib. Fing schon in deiner Kindheit an der Mutterbrust an. Because in auditions you have to show immediately this is what I have to offer. Nobody is interested in that you might have a little cold, somebody died the day before, you are so scared of the virus and spiders. Niemand interessiert sich dafür beim Vorsingen, was ringsherum passiert. One is only interested in the product you are Selling. Man interessiert sich nur für das Produkt, das du gerade versuchst zu verkaufen. So, to be ready for the audition, um, the main thing is that you in everyday life learn to sing in your own skin. The only thing that makes you different from other singers is not singing or sounding or moving like colors is what mother nature and good genes or bad genes would gave you. Also, in the eigene Haut singen verkauft am besten. So, to make sure I don't talk too much in Allgemeine, I don't talk too generally, I made a very clever little list about the things I would like to touch upon today while relaxedly repeating some of the exercises we have done in the previous ed uh, editions of this little chat. I have my handy, my smartphone, as we say, handy is ein deutsches Wort. Wir nennen uh, smartphones handies auf Deutsch. I don't understand why, aber als Deutscher habe ich das Wort mir angeeignet. So I have my mobile phone ready to check if there are any comments I need to react to. In case you comment on what I am doing right now and don't get a response during the video, you will get it later on. So we are getting ready to audition. Let's go back to some of the basic warm-up exercises I have suggested to you. First, I will take off the horrible flip-flops I use around the house so that we can all be barefoot so we feel the oil, oil skin properly. 
Ich habe so mit dem Einsingen der Stimme, I have this bee in my bonnet about warming up the voice, that you have to warm up consonants as well, not just vowels. And multiple tasking, many things at the same time, way better so that you can do these exercises regularly, even if you are depressed or think I am never going to be on stage again. Once you move this depressed bit that you sit on, the rest of the body and especially the voice will be cooperative. Durch Bewegung bekommt man die Energie und den Mut weiterzumachen, auch in Zeiten der kompletten Unwissenheit. The shoes are ready to walk around the house in high heels as well, so that I don't lose the ability to move naturally in high heels. If you've watched this before, you know I love going off at a tangent. Back to the shoes. Zurück zu den Schuhen. Beim Vorsingen, at your audition, make sure you wear shoes you can walk comfortably in. I have touched upon this theme before, because you never know exactly who is listening to your audition or watching your audition. Sometimes there might be a producer, and regisseur könnte dabei sein, that will cast you because of your body type, your hair, or the color you are wearing. This is the reality. The Realität des Vorsingens, man wird manchmal besetzt wegen des Aussehens, oder was man nicht hat, oder was man anders hat. Deshalb die Schuhe, the shoes. Make sure if the regisseur out in the dark auditorium stops you while you're singing and says, uh, das ist alles ganz schön, das ist okay, was you're singing. Could you please get down on the floor and crawl around while singing Do ve sono? You do not blink, you put on the professional smile. Wenn so eine Bitte kommt, zu Boden zu gehen und während des Singens herumzukriechen, hat man anständig zu lächeln und sich sofort entspannt zum Boden zu werfen. Das ist auch so, wenn man ein Kleid anhat, if you're wearing a dress, make sure you have the technique to crawl around the floor without being half naked. Being well aware, if you are singing on a big stage, there might be bright working lights on you. Die Beleuchtung könnte grausam grell sein. So, if there's very bright lighting, lightning, lightning is good, but I meant to say lighting. Die Beleuchtung, lighting. Every single bit of your skin will be, will look older, more squashed and unappetitlich, not nice. Um, if you haven't put on the moisturizer before, so you have the possibility to cover it and there might be lighting behind you. You know about backlighting, Leuchtung von hinten. This dress was a bit more transparent, light came from the back. One would see exactly what leggings I had on there. Also, zurück zum Vorsingen. Und der Regisseur hat gerade gefragt, bitte zum Boden gehen und herumkriechen. You crawl on the ground while saying. So this is what I mean by prepare yourself in every day. There is no request during an audition that you should immediately say no to. Having said that, um, es ist sehr wichtig, die eigene Grenzen zu kennen. You must know your own borders before you go audition. If you do not feel comfortable being naked on stage, know exactly how much of your body you are always prepared to relaxedly have on an opera stage. Nacktheit auf der Bühne, bitte vor dem Vorsingen überlegen, genau wie viel meines Körpers zeige ich entspannt auf der Bühne, ohne nachher einen Nervenzusammenbruch zu haben. So, this dress, as I have said before, I've worn this before to chat to you about the tricks of the trade, I find is good for auditions. It might be for the taste of some people too shiny under the light, aber 
Es ist vielleicht zu abendhaft für eigene Gesch einige Geschmäcker, aber das soll man wissen beim Vorsingen. You cannot please everybody in an audition or a show. Man kann nicht jeder zufriedenstellen, egal was du machst. So we are back to singing in your own skin, knowing your borders, knowing this is what you have to offer and always being aware. You are the product, the people out there listening to you are the buyers of the product. Never forget you are a product and you hope to be bought by the people out there. If after the audition you get no feedback, normal. Some people have many auditions and there's backlog and it, it's not in their priorities to do so. If you do get feedback, direct feedback, hallelujah, please write a nice thank you note. Good manners are not going to hurt you. Better people say about you when they talk, oh man, that one is so decent because decency has become very rare in theater and that's why every time I need decency it's something I will never forget that that person. Good manners, they do not hurt. Die gute Manieren, Knigge bleiben, hat noch nie jemandem geschadet und auch in diesen schwierigen Zeiten finde ich, wir haben die Chance Knigge wieder zu beleben und auch beim Vorsingen zu respektieren. Bacteria. So, we are now getting ready for the audition after crawling on the ground. And the reason I started crawling on the ground is, before I talked too much, I thought let's have a gentle repetition of warming up consonant exercises. There are consonants that can sing and I like doing them while I'm warming up my feet. This should get in there. You stand with your feet under your hips, feel the balance. Thighs, the Oberschenkel, zentrieren, zentrieren, einmal nach draußen. Outside of the feet, so you can feel, he, he, that's not the middle. Inside, ho, 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 aha. All of the body is on those hips. Then you stand upright and wir benutzen zuerst einen M, wie in Mama, we warm up an M vowel. You take a note that is comfortable for you. I'm like a bass baritone kind of working voice. That's normal for me this time of the day. <coughs> you take the breath, you go. And you bend the knees. Oh, that wasn't very well centered. You're still going. You go up on the toes. Always checking the balance. Mm, you straighten the whole of your legs mm, without squashing anything. Mm, you bend the knees. If they crack, their legs aren't warm yet and you have to do 20 more. Mm, you put the nice heels down on the floor. Mm, centered, mm, centered, squash. Mm, and then you get up again. Stretch, tucking in the bits you sit on. Mm, while going mm, on one breath, then you do 20 on mm, 20 of on mm, as in no, no, nine, nine, 20 of nine, then 20 on rrr, 20 of rrr, 20 of rrr, 20 of rrr, 20 Übungen auf und 20 auf without having a locked jaw. The locked jaw exercises we've already had. So we are still talking about auditioning. As I sit down like a lady, I'll check if anybody has a question yet. Non vedo niente. I haven't been doing this very often. So I'm sure I'll get better at this. Uh, I do not need, ah, there is where we are live. So I go on that so I can see that. I have to turn down the sound. Good morning, Wendell, nice that you are there. So we are back at auditioning. Exercises you can redo 
with all the other tasks I have suggested in the previous takes. To choose good repertoire for your audition, I would suggest don't be clever. Sei nicht überklug bei der Wahl des Repertoires des Vorsingen. Honesty, I would say, is the first thing. Be honest to yourself. Choose repertoire that you can sing now. Choose a repertoire where you could imagine singing the whole role. Repertoire nur, wo du dich vorstellen könntest, die ganze Partien jetzt zu singen. Of course, you might have something accidental with you to say that at the moment I'm working on this and I think my voice is going in that direction. Practical suggestion. Always have ready on a physical list or in the lists of your smartphone a list of three operas, opera arias that you like singing now that you could sing on jet lag with a cold and right after you've broken a leg. Three arias that you like and can sing. Drei arien die immer parat sind out of jet lag. Five in brackets, the, the other two, in case people are interest, interested to hear more what your voice can do, you have the five arias ready. And Seeing that we're talking about auditions, quite often theatres used to, I don't, we don't know how it's going to be there now, so I'm the dinosaur telling you how we used to do it. Theatres will invite, say, 20 people to all come audition at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is normal. And so please think of the pianist. If you want your pianist at the audition to play well for you, you will have legible music that doesn't fly all over the place every time we turn a page. Better die Noten für den Pianisten beim Vorsingen. Immer gut leserlich und zusammengeklebt, damit das Zeug nicht durch die Gegend fliegt when the pianist umblättert. And I am chatting to you about these auditions because I've been on both sides of auditions. I have auditioned myself many, 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 many times and I have listened to many, 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 many auditions. And to keep your sanity, I would recommend that you are always aware that mostly doing an audition is nearly like playing roulette. Das Vorsingen gehen könnte man mit Roulette spielen vergleichen. All the stars have to be in the right position and somehow something happens and if you get a job, hallelujah. If you don't get a job after an audition, the magic word is next. Wenn du kein Jobangebot nach dem Vorsingen bekommst, ist das magische Wort next. Was nehme ich als nächste? And what do I take with from this audition? Now, in the audition situations, many theatres have taken to recording all the auditions and one never knows where these end up. If you do feel uncomfortable about this, please make sure that after the audition, not before, you write a very nice email to the theatre or the agency you audition for to ask whether your audition has been recorded and to just confirm that you are happy that it has been recorded but assume it is only for internal purposes and thirdly that you would really appreciate the confirmation that this Recording of your audition is not now to be found on YouTube. Write the charming email. Ask, take care of yourself. Nobody's going to do it for you. Well, in these Zeiten, we wissen nicht, wie es wird mit Agenten und Vorsingen. So we have to be flexible. I know many people are learning or having to audition 
over Skype or Zoom or send in a recording. Das kann man alles üben. You can practice all of that. Even with your smartphone, you don't need to rush out and buy expensive equipment. You can check what effect does your appearance have when you're auditioning and also check uh, on the language. I mean, there are so many things that can help you be properly prepared for an audition. Um, my build-up wasn't perfect. Very important if one says one would be chatting only half an hour is to have a clock ready so that I don't bore you to death. Now, about warming up before you audition, I have suggested to you the old scenario where there are 20 other singers all wanting to warm up to possibly start auditioning at 2 o'clock. Now, there are many ways to warm up uh, properly uh, under complete stress. Obviously, I've talked about this before. You use this hysteria and invest it into the exercises you do with your body and your voice or take a good walk to calm down. Go look at the pretty river around the corner. Drink your favorite water while writing a love letter to somebody you haven't spoken to. We know all of these tricks. But at the end of the day, when you start <clears throat> your audition, you want your voice to be optimal, so you have to warm up properly. Ladies and gentlemen, Damen und Herren, get used to warming up in toilets. Man gewöhnt sich dran, auf der Toilette einzusingen. This is something you have to do. You will get nasty looks, people bitching at you. This is part of the job and just one of those things like we need oxygen. Now when you warm up your voice on the day of your audition to make sure that you are really concentrating on what you want to sing on this day, not the 200 other things you are learning at the moment. Nur vorbereiten auf was du an dem Tag singst, nicht was du ansonsten noch so willst. Baby got back, I'm learning this. Das machen wir nicht. So I suggest warm up exercises that you have taken out of the repertoire that you are going to present on the same day. Um, we have talked about the sheet music. Ah, one thing about the sheet music. I have become quite reliant on my iPad. Ich verlasse mich inzwischen ziemlich auf mein iPad beim Herumreisen. If you go into auditions and you forgot your music on the train, you don't want to inconvenience the people uh, because they have 20 singers to take care of quite often by saying, who could you please go get the music or you will never ask do you have the music for? It is accepted at an, at an audition that the singer pitches up with his lovely music in his hand. The iPad, <clears throat> firstly you have all the music ready. You can, without schlepping 30 kilos through the whole of Europe, have all the music ready. You find the cheap Wi-Fi if you have to learn something quickly for a new audition. So the iPad thing or your version of it. Smart tablet, I think of English. Better unbedingt daran denken, dass ein iPad zu haben fast unverzichtbar ist. Also, this iPad thing, I promise you, Apple isn't paying me to, <laughs> to tell you about using the iPad. It's just I feel I have to share this with you because it has saved me from having a nervous breakdown very often. Um, you can use your iPad to have coaching sessions with your teacher, your pianist, also the working recordings, the studying recordings you need to have with you always in case and if you're a traveling singer sometimes you have to freshen up a role quickly while in a tiny tiny hotel room and no possibility of founding a piano or a proper room you need some device to be with you, to be ready for everything. 
and seeing that we are living in days where the future is even more uncertain than before, let's say, post-virus, I think this is our time to stock up and be ready for all possibilities and I like this challenge. Challenge is eine Herausforderung. Es ist eine Herausforderung deiner Kreativität bereit zu sein für was immer nach Post-Virus Zeiten auf uns zukommt. Back to practical things, if you are interested in auditioning in Germany, um, it is a very fast moving business at the moment, there is definitely no sure informa information, no definite information about auditioning. They are nice, there are the exceptions where you might get the invitation to audition per Skype or WhatsApp, but if uh, life goes back to normal a little bit. The one agency I can recommend to everybody who has never worked in Germany is ZAV, Zentralstelle für Arbeitsvermittlung. Noch mal slowly in English, ZAV. This is a government agency that does not take a cut for listening to you and recommending you to theatres. As many theatres obviously have to be very aware of how much money they are spending when they need singers, obviously they would rather speak to an agent who is not going to take a bigger cut. Now if you go to the government agency they might not do all the nice frills and trappings that one expect from, expects from a good agent but this is a good place to start. The other good place, speak to colleagues. Ask them which agent they are using. I am recommending ZAV because they got me my uh, second job in Germany, in Hanover. I auditioned for them in 94 and they they, I thought they'd forgotten about me and I got a job in Wiesbaden all by myself and two months after I had started in Wiesbaden ZAV got hold of me and said Frau Farey, we found a job for you in Hanover and we think you should go audition so fortunately I was prepared for the situation so I got the day's leave you always have to ask for the day's leave in writing and I went to Hanover and I auditioned like mad and I got a job at that theatre and worked there for 15 years. The ZAV in that time took very well, they took care of me, they always informed me what is on the job market. Of course you have to do like with any relationship in life, you have to bring your part. Wie in jeder Beziehung im Leben muss man seine Seite auch ausfüllen. Regelmäßig sagen, was du gerade machst, was du gerade versuchst. You have to keep contact yourself. Write to them, tell them that this is the place to start. And <clears throat> the whole thing about being a singer, I wrote this down so I don't forget to share it with you. If you maintain you are a singer. The sentence is don't call yourself a cake if you don't expect to be eaten. Auf gut Deutsch, wenn du dich eine Torte nennst, sollst du erwarten gegessen zu werden. You will have criticism. You will have crazy different input from all possible people knowing better and you have to learn to filter this getting us back to singing in your own skin now because i like doing practical things if anybody watching this um, a good way to prepare for warming up in very negative situations gute weise sich vorzubereiten auf das vorsingen 
wo man nicht genügend Platz oder Zeit hat einzusingen, is to at home do your warm up with other music running in the background. This we will now practice because I have to share some Bach with you in any case. So I suggest that while you are doing your warm up exercises, I will relaxedly play Bach and you can see if you can keep in your own body with your exercises of the day for the audition without being bothered by me enjoying my Bach. Now I can see some kind. Yeah, next thing to really. Also, hallo Gerda, das ist so lecker, um von jou te hören. So, this exercise is, imagine you are in a room with at least 10 other singers. You all have to warm up for an audition in 10 minutes and go. Übung is... Du stellst dir vor, du bist in einem Raum mit zehn anderen Sängern und egal was passiert, du konzentrierst auf dich selber und singst ein, um in zehn Minuten perfekt vorbereitet zu sein für dein Vorsingen. go up on stage and as a goodbye I suggest you do one more of my favorite exercises to get the whole body warm up you do not do these exercises if you have weak knees you find your own version of what we are doing now while sitting in your chair allora very quietly the whole body is going to be singing and this also it really helps to get rid of wow hysteria oh my god audition audition wow wenn du nervös bist vor dem Vorsingen you've done this many times only if your knees are warm and they don't go we go bounce 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 up and we do a slow oh your top you must make it to a couple because it's a nice sunny day in Smyrna, Atlanta. Take a breath. Hey. Love this wooden floor. Everything is vibrating. One more 
off or not? Hi, Atta. Thank you very much for watching. Now you do 50 more of those and I will see you next week, same time. Bitte noch 50 davon tun und wir sehen uns in einer Woche wieder. Brrr, 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 brrr.